Hi, I'm Daisy, and this is Brody with Dab Acting. Acting. We're going to be showing you how to do basic stage makeup, or more commonly known as heavy street makeup. This is super easy to do, and it works for males and females of all ages. Let's get started. So, the first thing we're going to do is foundation. And that is used so the audience can see your face in the light, and you can actually see the color of your face because stage lights are so bright that they cause your face to look like a like a white sheet almost. Um, and when you buy your foundation, you're going to want to go a shade darker than your actual skin tone because they're still not going to be able to see you if you just have your regular skin tone on. So we're going to add that on Brody. As you can see, Brody likes this very much. <laughs> You're just going to use um, a pretty good amount because it's not supposed to look good. It's just because it will actually look good for the lights. And make sure you get that neck too. The more the merrier. So that's very important because you don't want your neck to be one color and your face to be another. That would be weird. Oh my eye. Okay. So now we're going to be moving on to blush and I recommend a cream blush over a powder blush just because it looks darker. So this just adds the color to your cheeks because right now you can't really see any color on his cheeks from uh, the audience. And depending on, you usually want younger kids with a lot of blush because it looks cuter that way. And depending on the show, you might want a lot too. So you might want to ask your director about that because they may want a certain amount. Um, so if you have a cream, just add it with your fingers. I'm going to add a lot on him because he's little and they like that. Um... Thank you. It doesn't smell good. That's very true, Brody. Okay. All right. And if you don't have a cream, you can use a powder because both are fine. I just prefer cream. So your director may want you to contour slightly because that helps you define your facial features. Because um, right now we can't really see that definition of the cheekbone. And you can't just, you know, we want to see that. And if they do ask, some directors don't want it, but if they do want it, you're just going to take a little bit of bronzer. Some people have whole full uh, contour kits, but Brody just needs a little bronzer on his cheekbones. And the cheekbones are right underneath, right here, underneath his cheeks. And you can see that if he does the fish face, Brody. And that little crease right there, that is where you would put it. And then you also put it right here on the fore on the top of the forehead. And it just adds a little bit of definition. Um, okay, so next is something that a lot of boys actually dread, which is eyeliner. Um, it is necessary for both females and males. Um, for younger kids, if they're a little bit more on the squirmy side, you could use like a stick eyeliner, but Liquid eyeliner is usually best to use, and brown or black is a good color. So, we're just going to add that on the upper lid right here, right over his eyelashes. And you can, perf if you want, you can also do it on the bottom lashes. That's something you could ask your director as well. But a good tip is to just go like that. We're just going to do a straight line. that and then you can smear it a little bit. And something good for the person that's getting makeup applied on them, stand still. Yeah, it's very important because see already moved a little bit and then it got a little on the bottom. That's okay though. Um and then yeah so you're just going to do that 
and they're not going to be exactly the same. But it doesn't, that's what I like about doing eyeliner shows is it can look kind of bumpy because nobody will be able to even notice it. Because you're not even supposed to be able to tell that the person is wearing eyeliner. So there's like three different kinds of eyeliners. Usually when I use for theater, there's the stick. There's, um, there's this, and then there's like just a tube. All right, and then this is also an optional thing, but this is lipstick, so if you tend to have paler lips, um, this will just help the audience see the color, and none of the audience will be able to see that you're wearing makeup at all, because it'll look perfect from the lights. But, um, so, Liner just kind of defines the lips a little bit, and for boys, I just tend to like add not very much. So they just, it doesn't look like they're wearing lipstick, but if you're a girl, you could totally look like you're wearing lipstick and it'd be fine. Um, and then I always just get a color like this, kind of a pinkish red, maybe a little purple, a natural color, just dab it on and smear it around. Yeah, a dab. <laughs> um, yeah, there you go. And so this is something that's super duper important, which is mascara. And sometimes boys don't actually have to wear eyeliner because they'll be like, oh, you can just wear mascara. So if you have short lashes, you can curl them to make them look a little bit longer. But mascara just looks makes it look like you actually have eyelashes from um, an audience perspective, you won't be able to even see that Brody has eyelashes, which would be kind of sucky for him. Not that he probably really cares, but... So, um, for little kids, it's better if you just have them close their eyes, but it's a little bit harder to apply. If you're doing it on yourself, I recommend just... Um, opening your eyes. Opening your eyes. Your so we have Brody open his eyes a little bit, so it's easier for me. And you're just going to add a little bit on there and have them blink a few times. And this is really good mascara. It's, it's a cover girl, which is actually really nice because it's for any hair color. So if you're blonde, it'll be like for blonde um, people, people or redheads or anything like maybe that. Some people get on their eyelashes and then they, they are able to blink and that's how they get some on. Mm -hmm. And so this is actually for dark hair because this is mine, but you can get whatever hair color you happen to have. This is probably the most important thing, um, because when you're performing and you're on stage with those really intense lights, you tend to sweat your makeup off, which is completely normal, and this is to help prevent that from happening. So this is, yeah, a really important thing to have. Um, so what you're going to do is you're just going to take a brush and you're going to get a little bit on there and you're just going to apply that to like literally your whole face because, and. You can definitely add a lot more than you think because this is basically what powder does is it absorbs all of your sweat, which is really important in theater, to be honest. Um, just make sure you hold your breath when you add it on because you don't want that stuff going up your nose. We're just gonna also add it to the neck <laughs> or in your mouth. We're just going to, and you can add that on your eye makeup as well. Oh, the lips. Where's my mouth again? So it's gonna look a little cakey without the lights, but it will look great from the stage. You can also get this, which is a final seal, and it basically works the same as powder, except you just spray it on the face really fast. Yeah. A lot of people don't like this because it's just, you know, like it gets in your eyes and stings, so you can prefer to go with the powder, which is also a little on the cheaper side. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all we have. Um, this is a, what would be known as a basic stage makeup. We got the eyeliner, mascara, foundation, powder. No eyeshadow is usually needed. Neither is that like, you know, any of the stuff that highlight or any of that. Yeah. Just and we have a little bit of contour and a little bit of lip color, and that would be known as um, heavy street makeup. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please comment, comment below. down below, and we'll get right back to you on those. And also, like Ooh, and subscribe like. if you want to see more videos like this. And let us know if you have any advice for our future videos. Um, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!